So, crude oil. We got the EIA numbers coming out at 1030. We're trading basically at 55 right on the dot. Man, we mentioned it. Talk about some volatility, right? You back things up to yesterday, just for some context. Yeah. Early yesterday morning, we're trading at 54.23. You trade up more than $3 by noon, practically, right, to 57 43 and now we're down $2.50. Right. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see what kind of premium and where these line up. So let's check out what kind of... Because they had a small build last night. Okay, for the API. And it was 3.2. Nice. But the, it got hit immediately. I, 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 okay. <laughs> So this might work out well that we're near $55. We're going to be looking when we're trying to set up a volatility trade, right? You'd be trying to basically, it's equatable to buying a, putting a call right at the money. Yes. That's what you're looking for. So we're looking for $55 maybe on some of these that line up. The 11 a.m.s are a little bit off. I was hoping. There we go. Perfect. The 12s. The reason why I knew they might move is just because they've been setting every time as this has been cascading down. So. 55 to 56.50. These are the noon expirations. You have a buck 50 to the upside. Now the bullish one's going to have eight pennies of intrinsic That's nice value. Though. Yeah. Not bad, right? No. You're paying 33 for the one with about eight to nine pennies of intrinsic value. If you want exposure to the downside as well, this one's going to be a little bit cheaper because it's out of the money by eight pennies. You're paying 24. You're looking at 57. 57. A little bit more expensive than usual, but when's the last time we looked at this market and you had almost $3 of upward movement and downward movement almost in the last 24 hours? Uh, and let's just see how the dailies line up. Maybe we can find 55. Nah, so that's going to have 55.50. That'd be a little bit out of the money. And unfortunately, that's going to have 54.50. So the nudes would be your option. Not bad. And again, you can always take one side or the other. Right. You know, if you were positional right. and you really had a bias, if you're just looking for volatility, you can take both. But not a bad trade as well. I mean, you know, you're going bullish. Not with the type of volatility we've had yeah. right now. You're paying 24 cents of premium, right. essentially, when you have an hour and a half and that crude market about to come out with the numbers. 877-927-6648. We have the Dow right now down 410. NASDAQ off 146. S&P's down 51. Tommy and I come right back. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow uh, up 407. You get the Nasdaq one down 147. S&P's off 51. Let's see. They're a little slow with the news. Here we go. Okay. Rising 1.58 million barrels. Uh, that might be more than they thought. API did have a build of about 3.7 last night, but we saw the Bloomberg they estimate be a drop, come in a, a decline four, yeah. of 420. And let's check back to the market, see how the market's reacting, pull up the chart. And a little quick reaction, but nothing too staggering. It did spike, and man, this is so quick. It was up there at 55.36 for a heartbeat, 55.16. We were coming in at about 55.08, so nothing too dramatic. And checking back to uh, the numbers, gas inventory is falling 1.41, and there's the full line. So the median estimate was a decline even greater than that of 2.5, so a lot more crude, about 4 Look million barrels than they thought. Wow. Gas decline of 1.4, estimate decline of 1.1, so less gas. You have distillates down 1.9. The estimate was for an increase of a million. And uh, Cushing minus 2.5, pad 3 minus, uh, excuse me, plus 1.7. And then you have imports and refinery crude inputs, imports, uh, excuse me, inputs as well. So let's see. Yeah, it's not holding. Yep. No action. No action at all. And of course, if you were going to take one of those trades, the last thing you'd want was exp expiration at noon to 55. But we got an hour and a half, man. Give that, give that crude contract a little time and faith, and you might see some action. No doubt.